This past year may have left you feeling stuck, helpless, and confused, but can you imagine having to live with those feelings every single day? These feelings are a harsh reality for many foster children in the American foster care system. A 2018 study conducted by the United States Children Bureau found out that there are currently over 400,000 kids in the American foster care system today. An article written on January 8th of 2021 by David Dodge for the New York Times states that the global pandemic has created new problems in the American foster care system as well as uprooted the old ones. Another shocking statistic posted by Alternative Family Services states that, and I quote, in comparison to veterans, former foster youth are twice as likely to develop post-traumatic stress disorder. Let's go over why so many children are suffering from their time in the foster care system. I myself was once part of that startling statistic and have experienced firsthand what many children are going through today. Not only are more children being placed into foster care each year, but the ongoing global pandemic has slowed the income of resources and made the ability to place children into safe foster homes even harder. I spent a lot of time analyzing research and conducting interviews and have gained some insight into the corruption in the American foster care system. The foster care system has always been in dire need of reforming, but without demand, the abuse and neglect keeps getting worse. First off, I will be discussing the rate of children being placed into foster care each year. Next, I will talk about the lack of funding and resources given to both foster parents and foster children. Lastly, I will go over the statistics of abuse and neglect found in the foster care system. Now that I've given you a quick preview, let's jump into the statistics of how many children are being placed each year. The amount of children being placed each year is astonishing and the numbers are only rising. According to the North American Council on Adoptable Children, the percentage of children being placed into foster care has risen a whopping 9.6% from 2013 to 2017. Many children are separating from their siblings in foster care, left with only the hope of being reunited. In fact, there are so many children in the foster care system that the organization Alternative Family Services reports that a whopping one out of five children who leave the foster care system are left without a home or funding. A 2018 article written by John, Dr. John DiGarmo for an organization named Youth Dynamic reports, in Texas, the lack of foster parents results in some children even being forced to sleep in child welfare offices. With all that said, many people aren't interested in becoming foster parents due to long working hours and the lack of knowledge of the foster care system. Now that we've gone over the lack of housing, let's go over the lack of funding and resources given to both foster parents and foster children. A lot of children placed into foster home go, go days without food and water, and most children l receive little to no new clothing items as often as needed. I conducted an interview on March 7th of 2021 with two former foster um, two former foster children, and was shocked to find that going days without food and water was normal to both. One interviewee, 24-year-old former foster child Vanessa, revealed that she would be forced to go up to four days without food and up to two days without water. Lack of funding also put Vanessa in a position where she would only be given new clothing, items, shoes, and toys when she would have visit with her bi biological family. My second interviewee, a 17-year-old female who I'm at, whom I will refer to as Jane Doe due to privacy reasons, stated that she would be forced to share food and water with other children in the foster home and that they would be forced to go days without food and water. She would only be given new clothes when her old ones were too worn out to wear and most of her new clothes didn't fit. Myself and many other former foster children have been frequently moved from house to house, given only a black glad trash bag to carry all of our belongings. Next, let's look into the statistics of abuse and neglect found all throughout the foster care system. Neglect is deeply rooted in the foster care system, and it's constantly pushed under the rug when brought up. Alternative Family Services reports that foster care children are five times more likely to develop anxiety and ten times more likely to develop depression. Many children, such as interviewee Vanessa, were too scared to speak out on their abuse. Vanessa confessed that she was physically, emotionally, mentally, and sexually abused for four out of the six years she spent in the foster care system. My second interviewee, Jane Doe, revealed that she was mentally, emotionally, and physically abused for the entirety of the nine years she spent in the foster care system. An article published May 2020 by the Foster and Adoptive Care Coalition reads, and I quote, Every child we serve has experienced abuse abandonment, drug exposure, neglect, domestic violence, or all of the above. Children should not be forced 
to go through mental and emotional trauma due to their parents' incompetence to care for them correctly. Now that we've gone over all the main points, let's finish with the review. The extremely low demand for reforming the foster care system is allowing the neglect and abuse to get worse. Today, we went over the rates of child placement, the types of neglect, and the types of abuse found all throughout the foster care system. A Google search could lead you to learning more about the foster care system and the need to reform. The corruption of the foster care system will not simply disappear on its own. Former foster care children, such as myself, most likely have a story of their own abuse and neglect in their time in the foster care system.